the first one. Stop. Well, it will actually be on your converging angle, I think. But you know, if 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 if, the, if it's something along these, as they're looking to each other, and it's just shifting like this, you're just holding the two. And I'm going to ask Tracy, where am I at a shot? Am my feet at a shot here? Tracy. My feet out. My main shot. So the lighting in uh, with the light turned on, um, it will be seen from this point of view first, as yeah. possible. Because when you give the face more than everything changes again, and now we have, I would, I would say, I would hold the same. Oh, his face inside, we have we forgotten. Rather than emphasizing the lighting, I wanted to emphasize, uh, you know, image texture. First thing we did was we utilized the 137 frame, the old Academy frame, rather than uh, 185, which is what we've done the other, the contemporary exercise on. And uh, I think it's going to be interesting to uh, to project that uh, in that ratio to see black and white in that ratio, which is what you associate most with black and white is the older ratio, and to utilize the kind of framing that they did in the silent film, which was a different thing, where you had uh, uh, images that were static more often than not, and there was a simple reason for it, and that is that the cameraman was hand-cranking the camera, and so one hand was occupied doing that, so he might be able to work out a pan with uh, his left hand, but not so much uh, a panning and tilting at the same time. And it's interesting because cameramen at that time had uh, they had the capability of using motors. I think there were motors from cameras from 1919, 1920 on. It was not a big deal, probably even sooner, but I mean readily available. But they preferred to hand crank because they felt it was part of their photographic style because they controlled motion and how motion was going to be recorded. And I'd already done a little meditation on that kind of thing in Avalon with the, uh, the use of stretch printing. Here we couldn't go through stretch printing, so what I, I decided was just to make a modified 21, 22 frame per second, so just slightly sped up to give a little bit of that movement texture to the image. Mm -hmm.